what's going on guys welcome to today's video it's been a long day today i got a couple things going on i'm kind of disappointed because i was actually 3d printing today um because I, i've been selling stuff at the cars and coffee and i didn't sharpen my scraper whatever it's called to scrape the little like the, the prints that i have and i scrape them and since I sharpened it too much, I freaking sliced the mat. So instead of using a regular plastic mat, we upgrading to a, what is it, glass mat. But I got to go to Home Depot and buy some stuff. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing in a bit. Besides that, um, everything's going good. Hey, 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 what you barking at? Come on, bro. Where's your good boy? Where's your good boy? Yeah, go do what you got to do so yeah anyway what i was saying is um how's it going with you guys you know thank you for the new subscribers likes and comments appreciate all that channel's moving up uh, i got a couple things going on i did say i do have the drift build coming um it is coming guys just gotta hold on a little bit um got a couple things i gotta get before i actually start the series so we are hoping to get more stuff so as in for the ruckus you know it's right here and we got an rc car it is all dirty we still got to refurbish this i gotta go get a, uh, a charger for it and i'm trying to be uh, buy a miata shell this is a hpi something i forgot which one was it but i gotta buy a shell for it i'm trying to get the na miata to make it just like mine so hopefully hopefully we could get that going the miata is actually running good i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie we're gonna pop the hood real quick oh wait man i'm tripping i forgot i don't have a hood latch no more it just pops up by itself bam y'all like my new engine they call it the trash bag engine nah just kidding so i just put this because when it rains it pours in there and leads right down to the top you know every time i start a video there's always a plane or a helicopter or sirens dogs barking i swear to god they'd be waiting for me to start this video anyway so um on my last video i showed you guys that i fixed the pulley uh it came out actually pretty good i actually pressure washed the engine a little bit uh because i was kind of getting annoyed of putting my hands in there and then it's all dirty so i kind of cleaned it off a little bit from the bottom there's a little bit of gunk not too much you know i hit everything else with it so it came out pretty good the only thing i gotta do is just clean the top this thing does get dirty due to that freaking huge ass hood vent um so i do gotta fix that gotta clean these up i remember i did these long time ago i was like chopping it up so i'm gonna buy something just to see if i could clear it out nice little circles probably paint the bottom of this because it doesn't look that great um yeah I'll probably paint it like black or something gotta get that going <clears throat> all right guys sorry i had to take this car real quick but anyway um yeah i gotta clean this up for the miata try and get this going um so guys actually what I didn't tell you guys is I did go to the Cars and Coffee. I think I did mention that on the last one, but I actually went to go sell some stuff. So I sold some stuff, uh, some things actually 3D printed, but I was running a little late. I didn't get to actually finish everything I was making. So here, let me show you guys something I've been uh, um, like thinking about doing, well, I actually started doing. So as in me showing you guys, what I'm making with my 3D printer. I'm making, I'm making like little keychain accessories. But, uh, hold on, let me put this camera down. All right, there we go. I'll just leave you guys right there. Why doesn't this one open? Oh, there we go. All right, so check this out. Um, so actually this thing was full. I was selling a lot of stuff. You know, uh, I made some, I want to say, drift charms. Right here. I only made only two colors. So these are the ones I made. These are pretty cool. I made some girl ones. You know, I made these little black ones. So I made some of these. You know, I go to the cars and coffee. I put up a little display. That was actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous about selling. But it actually came out better than what I thought. 
And then I do like to collect Hot Wheels and sell them. So like, I got the Porsche right here. I got an Evo right here. I got a Lance of what I can't pronounce that. I got another Porsche right here. Um, let's see. I got a Ford GT. I got a 98 Subaru Impreza. Uh, what else? I got a couple more. I got the RX-7 F... Uh, RX-7 right here. What else do I got? Oh, I got a Ford Focus RS. So I got a good, a good couple of them out. It just depends. I got the S2000 down there. Just don't want to take it out. So I do like to, um, you know, collect these as I'm, um, you know, going. And then just sell them. And I always try to find double. The reason why is so I could keep one for myself. Because uh, I like to keep these as well. I have my own collection. So whatever I do sell, I got one copy of it at home. Uh, there is a couple that I can't find. There's like um, like the R32. I can't find the R32. Like I'll find one, but I won't find the second one. But you know for sure I'm not selling that one. So I'll keep that one. The R33, same thing. I'll find one or two. If I find two, I'll sell one, but I'll keep one. So yeah, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I actually bought a whole bunch. Um, let me actually see if I can pull these up before the camera dies. Once the camera dies, I'm gonna leave it charging. Then I'm gonna go to Home Depot and go buy some uh, things. So today I went to the store and every day I try to go to the store on the way home just to collect a couple Hot Wheels, you know. Uh, I actually came out with a couple good ones. I ain't gonna lie. Let me get these ones that I have down here. I came out with a little good ones. So give me a second. Alright. So... These are the ones I came out with. I got double of everything. So this one, I already have one in here, but I sold the last one at Cars and Coffee. Same thing with the Subaru. Damn, that one flew away. I have that one as well, but I sold the other one at Cars and Coffee. Uh, see, I bought another one of this one because people buy that one. Then I got the Honda Prelude, you know, for those Prelude guys. There's a couple of them out there. I got two of them. Then I got this Mazda RX-3. I'm not gonna sell this one because I don't have a, uh, a copy of that one so another one i mean so if i do find one i will buy i will sell this one and then i got the yellow gtr because i did sell that one as well and i got a honda civic si and a lamborghini but that one's like whatever's and then just another uh just another uh what is it prelude so you know these are the ones I tend to buy, and this is the one I'm gonna keep, and the rest are sold. So, I always like to go on the hunt for them, you know, just a little thing I like to do, and start get going with that. So besides that, you know, that's what it's been going on with me. So, I'm actually gonna put this camera to charge real quick. I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. I gotta go buy some glass and a glass cutter to make a 3D bed uh, for my printer. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, and we're gonna be heading out, and I gotta store these Hot Wheels away. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, I did have to go to Home Depot and get some stuff because check this out. So like I told you guys earlier, I'd be 3D printing some stuff, but I kind of like cut a hole through it, you know, and it's all ugly and stuff. So I got to go ahead and make one of my own. So one thing I bought is, uh, what is this, a glass cutter, which I got open, and then these photo frames or whatever they're called, photo, yeah, photo frame because it's glass and it's thin glass. So we're gonna be cutting some glass and see how it goes. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so you guys gotta bear with me. Let's check this out. All right. Never cut glass in my life, so we're gonna check this out. The rest of this is gonna be trash. We won't need it. So I guess I'm just gonna line this up as best as I can to the edges and hope for the best. Damn, you could already tell this thing's not even straight. So this is the best thing to do. Is try to line this up as best as I can. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm all lining it up when I don't even have the two open.
I did end up cutting it, which is in the back right here. It did come out a little bit, you know, messed up on this side, but this side, it came out super straight, which is okay, you know. It's not like I you know, need the edges to be perfect. I just gotta be careful when I grab it. But for sure for the next one, at least I know what I'm doing. But yeah, it came out pretty dope. So time to start 3D printing. I'm actually gonna go ahead and <coughs> start 3D printing in a bit. But I just wanted to bring you guys with this little, you know, little journey of what I got going on today. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, everything. I'll see you guys on my next video. Hopefully see what we got going on. And if you guys want me to take your cards and coffee with me, go ahead and let me know. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe.